Howdy darling, I hope you're doing well today. We're going to be getting into your pick a card tarot reading for September. All right, I have four piles for you, four angels for you to be choosing from. You may feel only called to one or you may feel called to more than, you know, two, three, whatever, darling. All right, rely on your intuition today. I'm going to be making some predictions of what I see happening for you, some guidance for you during September 2022. I see career development for some of you. I see some of you, especially for soulmates and twin flame energy. All right, darling. So the all piles have an array of predictions and what's going to be happening for you. So let's get started, darling. We have four piles to choose from today. Let's go over our options. Our first pile is Hosmet, the Angel of Annihilation. Our second pile is Gabriel, the Angel of Herald. In our third pile, we have Angel of Death, Azrael. And then in our fourth pile, we have Sandalphon, the Angel of New Life. When you pick out your pile, go to the timestamps so we can go straight to your reading, darling. You darlings chose Hazmid, the Angel of Annihilation, for the month of September for you. Be paying attention during this month of those who have been f having any type of ill thoughts about you. Anyone that has been doing any type of spiritual magic against you, you maybe have been noticing that you've been feeling extra drained lately. Pay attention to your dreams. Have they been going acting weird? That's a sign that someone spiritually has been trying to impact your energetic field here. And Hazmid is letting you know from your spiritual team, uh, for your spiritual team to start uh, exposing the snakes in your life. This is going to be a month in September of where a lot of the things that you have been working extremely hard on with this temperance energy coming in for you, darling, in September is going to start manifesting big time. All right. I hear this message. Be careful about who it is you, sh uh, you share your successes with. Ten of Pentacles coming in here. Be careful about who you share your good news with. Be careful about letting people in too much during the month of September because I see uh, for you where it's like September for you, you accomplish so much. And it's like, there's certain people that start coming in out of the woodworks where they want to claim their peace, even though they were not part of the journey initially. All right. Be sure to protect yourself here. Ten of Swords coming in as well. I really want you guys to make it a priority this month of just being really just a hermit, truly, because you guys are going to be accomplishing a lot of big things here in September. And I just get this sense of like leeches. People see like a shining light and they just start really trying to suffocate you almost. Uh, pile number one. I really, I never really get this type of message here, but it's like, it's consistently popping out in my head about uh, doing some type of cleansing. Be careful. Again, be, the sense is just being careful about what it is you're trying to get and the things that you accomplish because there is this underlying sense of where uh either someone's like just from their pure jealousy they're sending out this type of heavy energy or what have you all right wheel of fortune coming in here all right trying to turn the wheel um back against you as well be careful about who it is you talk to um when it comes to uh, expressing like new connections you make here the wheel of fortune is actively starting to turn in your favor here and it's like there's some type of force that's going to be trying to turn uh get it back on the other side of uh, things it's almost as if like someone doesn't really want to see you winning here you've been paying a lot of patience when it comes to certain objectives in your life you've been trusting the process here and the reason why I feel like there's this emphasis on keeping it more secretive of your accomplishments during this month here is because this gives me the impression that a lot of people only know certain things that you've been wanting to accomplish in your life because this has been something a mission of yours that you've wanted for so long right maybe you've been a writer and you've been waiting for your opportunity to have your uh your work be posted somewhere all right i definitely see you know when you see this ten of pentacles here you can't mistake this with a strong financial stability coming into your life here all right, in September, tens representing closures to cycles, closing off that cycle of where you've been putting in the blood, sweat and tears quite literally with that ten of swords here. You've been putting in the blood, sweat and tears to reach certain uh, goals in your life. And so right when it starts happening for you, because it, it will happen without question here, you're going to be just having people trying to get a piece when they don't have your best interest at heart. I'm not worried too much about uh, their impact on you here in pile number one, to be honest. Knight of Swords energy. This is more so just like don't allow people to distract you from what it is you're trying to accomplish. A lot of unexpected events are going to be happening for you in September. 
that lead forth towards really strong uh, uh, financial gain for you. Again, there seems to be a main focus for you guys of reaching a certain physical accomplishment here. All right. Some type of physical accomplishment. And it just happens at a fast pace. It feels as if like people might try to distract you try to take away your energy because that's the only way they have power over you because you've been putting in this work here all along so the only way that they can impact you is try to distract you with drama right page of pentacles coming in here on top of this ten of swords so really confirming this cycle of where for many of you guys in september there's like a new revenue stream especially if you've lost a job recently i see new job opportunities coming in i see the opportunity for you as well to have an increase of uh new like multiple streams of revenue should you decide to take action on it but this is all in part of stuff that you've already been putting a lot of work into all right but definitely with this wheel of fortune here in this knight of swords you're you need to make it a priority pal number one to not allow any energy to impact this wheel of fortune to stop you from getting to your abundance to stop this wheel of fortune to continuously turn in your favor here you've been putting in all this hard work and people know this and so it's like there is this sense of where not to really let too many people in. I don't know. This is very different from any type of reading I usually get. Three of Wands coming in here as well. This is a time of taking action. I do feel like for some of you guys here, you haven't been wanting to take too much of a risk here. It's almost as if you have your really good days and then you have your bad days where you won't really be productive or you lose sight of what it is that you're trying to accomplish here. You need to make September the month of where you commit to these new ideas. You commit to uh, fully investing yourself into whatever it is that would bring forth some new uh, stability into your life from income. All right, because that's where I see the, uh, the manifestation starting to take place here. What I'm noticing as well in this dynamic is just this overall focus in in regards to your money. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to lie here. I don't really get too much social. I mean, other than obviously from the sense of where it's telling you, just be careful about who it is you engage with in September. Be careful about who, it, you know, just protecting yourself spiritually. All right, protecting yourself spiritually. I don't really feel like there's, and, and this is going to be a month in September of where, you're really entertaining any type of new connection here. King of Swords, I feel like if you are trying to have communication with people, you're going to be needing to approach them because there is this extreme respect for what it is that you speak. All right. So a lot of into like when this King of Swords here, many people would not approach a King of Swords because they it's like they see this as like mental chess while they're playing checkers and i know that sounds weird initially but it's the sense of where people can't ever tell quite what it is that you're thinking or feeling and so rather than coming off as stupid or exposing themselves all right with that hazmat card there definitely letting you know just like those snakes in the pit the snakes in your garden all right it's like people will avoid having deep conversations with you all right and so if you're wanting to connect with certain people while i don't see this more so in like more so of a focus or just companionship i do feel as if if there's certain people that you want to reach out to when it comes to working together if you've been wanting to put out your application or your resume out to places of a of a place that you desire really to work at to be at wherever the case is this is going to be the month to be doing that big time here all right you're coming into september from a place of where a lot of people are going to be wanting a lot of things from you all right. And that's something you need to just get comfortable with now. So by acknowledging your value now, you can avoid being taken advantage of in the future. All right. Some of you guys here, I see for you, it's like due to just like your environment, I feel like there's just it's you're long overdue to have like people who match your energy here, match your intelligence here. I feel like that's what's really long overdue. Knight of Pentacles coming in as well that's what's going on here you're long overdue for new for new connections for people that uh help elevate you but also people that you are able to relate with more i feel like for you those connections are going to be coming more so in the latter part of uh september here but they are definitely coming with this knight of pentacles here page of pentacles this comes in after a time of where 
you might have been uh, coming into September cutting off certain connections. Ten of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles here. I feel for you guys here in panel number one, it's like by you disconnecting yourself from uh, a, especially some type of social, social situation, you start the journey of this Knight of Pentacles coming in to extend out communication towards you. But I don't feel like this is in September. I feel, I feel like this is in October or in the later months. But just know by you closing out for some of you, you close out like a karmic cycle some of you guys have recently separated from your twin flame your soulmate whatever your story is all right by you uh, choosing to block off a connection by choosing to close off a connection in your life that had such an extreme impact on your social life here this begins the journey of that knight of pentacles of where it's like the next person that's going to be part of your soul tribe your next soul connection again i don't feel that it's going to be coming in september but it definitely is coming in the later uh, months for you all right but what i really want to be leaning into here and in for september is this i really want you pal number one to see certain people that you need to get rid of in your life and uh, take that energy where it's just like I'm replacing this lower vibrational energy, replacing these snakes in my garden. And then King of Swords, Knight of Swords here, Ten of Pentacles, and replacing those people with people that are more similar to you. I feel like in September, regardless of your zodiac sign, you're going to be starting to attract, you would have a lot of success with people that match your zodiac sign or in your zodiac element. So for example, uh, I feel like there's a lot of like air, earth energy that's going to be watching pile number one. So it's like Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, whatever your zodiac sign is or what your chart prim primarily exudes those are the people that you're going to have the best connections with during this month those are the people you'll get along with the best during this month and so especially if there's like certain people because i do get like there's this desire for you to communicate i don't know who this is for maybe this person hasn't come forward yet but if you ever get the strong pulling towards a certain person and you can't really explain it or you have the strong pulling sometime in september to go to a certain place or what have you lean into that more because that's where uh that's they play a part in that new energy plays a part in this wheel of fortune to start turning into your uh, turning in your favor more all right now i do want to be saying here if you guys have been slacking on your objectives you've been slacking on your chores slacking on your productivity of whatever it is that you are trying to build again be taking action on it pick back up those things here september is going to be a month that is heavily rewarding individuals that are taking action every single day towards their goals rather than playing coy all right so this is why you don't really want to be entertaining outside energies other than your own and those that understand what it is you're trying to build some of you are going to be getting more involved with your communities whatever communities that you uh relate to all right and it's through the, that's what i get for you it's like you you're starting to separate yourself from people who you may have thought at one point in time were very similar to you and they could have been but i feel like you've grown at a much quicker pace than some of these other people and that has unfortunately manifested in them envy so it then brings out like the more negative or toxic traits in them when they could be a good person but it's just through your sheer existence truly and you excelling brings out uh, their own internal shadow right not excusing their behavior but trying to get you to understand that it's never personal and so everyone's on their own personal journey dealing with their personal shadows all right so this is really a month for you guys to be taking it a priority of taking action and getting back on that horse here all right five of wands be careful about conflict with people be careful about drama all right you can acknowledge the snakes that are in your garden without having to engage with them you can just be like leave my garden block button whatever the case is but that's the biggest component to be looking out for is just not engaging with the drama and then we pull this hermit energy yes this is not really a time for you to be trying to dance around on eggshells with people here this is a time for you just to mind your own business five of swords all right so i can't really give him too much more of a warning than this darling in september i see a lot of ab abundance coming in for you guys i see you guys really having a fruitful harvest for those that have been putting in the work the only things i'm worried about 
are people there are people that are pushing your buttons are people that are insecure and then just uh, get triggered by your own success and then you feel like you have to entertain them that's the only thing i'm worried about here it's just like you dealing with people that do not deserve your energy so that's what i see for you in pile number one for those that chose hasmid the angel of annihilation and i will connect with you later on bye darling You, my beautiful darling, chose Gabriel, the Angel of Heralds. Firstly, in pile number two, you guys are my trailblazers, all right? The month of September for you, this is ultimately your month. Don't tell the other signs that, or don't tell the other piles that, all right, darling? Because you in pile number two, y'all are the main character for this month here. I see major accomplishments happening. I see divine knowledge being given some of you guys are going to be going through awakening symptoms or ascension symptoms here i see spiritual gifts being awakened i see many of you guys getting back on track with your spiritual purpose getting you know some of you may have been distracted in recent months or recent years no shame in that about your purpose about what it is that you're trying to build during this lifetime september is going to be the month of where y'all have the most action but things coming to light right in a very beautiful way four of pentacles coming in here this is going to be a really good month i am not a financial advisor but the four of pentacles represents uh, a card of investments all right some of you guys if you have been thinking about investments it seems to be really solid choices here during this month but it also represents needing to be taking action here again you're going to be getting some wisdom divine wisdom i really do feel that divine wisdom pile number two for what you need to be going forward with in september and it's really going to be extremely prosperous for you for you from this wisdom you have the hierophant stepping in here as well all right this is the masculine aspect of the high priestess here the hierophant is letting you know of these next connections these next uh objectives that are happening for you in september are going to be setting you up for long-term success because the hierophant does represent marriage this could be in time this could be a month of where you some of you might be coming into solid connections in september that will be with you for uh, the foreseeable future a long time right it doesn't have to be marriage it could be manifesting your next person your next partner in crime you have the queen of swords coming in as well <laughs> this queen of swords coming in as well what i get for you guys in september is the sense of where a lot more courage of taking action i feel like for many of you guys you're gonna be able to start speaking what it is that you want during this month here and also you need to be forcing more respect with yourself for yourself here in september pal number two all right because you guys are having you're having i i really do feel like the sense of like knowledge being bestowed onto you like there's there is a strong point in spirit having this sense of like this grandiosity uh, presented here you guys are going to be getting extremely powerful insights in september here and there is this sense that some of you guys might be feeling guided to using your voice some of you might be feeling guided to being a mentor as well as what i hear having your voice there is this sense of like uh, teaching as well some of you guys might be finding yourself in a teaching role <clears throat> We have the nine of cups coming in here a wish being granted for you because this is under your four of pentacles coming in here this is letting me know that when it comes to september for you this is just getting started here darling september for you yes you're going to be having a lot of uh wisdom yes you're going to be having some extremely positive investments happening in september but this nine of cups is letting you know that the best has yet to come we still have one more cup for you to be getting darling all right so you guys are going to be making a lot of forward progression this month towards your ultimate fulfillment here all right, the best is just yet to come for you, darling. You have the lover's card coming in here right under this hierophant. So really, for many of you guys, I wouldn't be surprised if you meet your match with your someone on your soul tribe, soulmate perhaps here. All right. I also get the sense of deepening and really building the bonds of your current connections. In September for you, some of you might be getting proposed to. Others of you, you might feel more solidified in certain connections in your life. Maybe you are feeling insecure about your standing when it comes to your friendships, your family. 
all right but also the lovers represents important decisions coming in for you as well and so the first thing that i'm noticing here is this importance here uh pile number two for the uh the decisions you make this month some of you guys might be having contracts presented to you all right uh you might be having people approach you here Whatever the case is, September seems to be an extremely important month for you that will set you up for the long term for your success so you're able to get to your full 10 cups. You have the three of cups coming in here under your queen of swords. Really drilling into this message here that in September, you're going to be having people that want to hear your word, that want to hear your insight more. All right. So what you need to be making it a priority right now is getting over your insecurity when it comes to speaking, when it comes to being perceived by other individuals here, because this is spirit letting you know that there's people that are going to be really receptive to whatever messages that you uh, feel the need to be expressing. All right. Whether that's through written word, whether that's through singing voice, there is this sense of just needing to put it by putting yourself out there. You're going to be having the right people that listen. But it's also this sense I feel for many of you in September. There is this implication of where uh, certain people are going to be part of your life here. You've been traveling a pretty solo journey or at the very least traveling a journey that while you might be around people, haven't been around people that you could fully put down your guard, showcase your true sense of humor, have people that really understand you without coming off as being too critical. I just the thunder just started happening right now as well when I said that. So that's a big thing for many of you. Your path is going to definitely be aligning this month for people that are part of your soul tribe. You're going to be getting out feeling a lot more comfortable with the relationships that you manifest during this month because there's definitely new connections coming in. But also there's just really solidifying the bonds pile number two for a lot of your social connections is what I see this as. Also, this is a time of celebration as well for you when you have this three of cups here as well as this nine of cups celebration towards getting closer and closer towards your goal i'll give you an analogy for how this will be looking for some of you you might be noticing traction really starting to pick up if you're on social media or you have a business that you sell products or something to people all right you're going to be noticing how things are going to be picking up for you during september and so that's what it is that i see you celebrating all right and that's why i felt that need to say the message where it's like the best has yet to come it's like you're celebrating right now but little do you know this is just the beginning for you because gabriel he is the angel of heralds he's the one that has the opportunity to change your destiny not to change your destiny but get you on direct you onto the path that would bring you the most success but also ensure to you that they will that your path will be meeting the right people to help you get to your success that's why things are ramping up for you you have the angel of gabriel really blessing your path currently all right when gabriel is giving their influence they're just di simply directing you and all you have to do is walk forward on that path and it's like a golden paved uh path for you all right you have the chariot card coming in here under this nine of cups as well as this four of pentacles here this is building up here the momentum is building up all right with this chariot energy the the investments that you make this month will will be what uh, sets you up for the rest of this year is what I feel greatly here when you have this cherry energy here this is just day by day like the momentum is building and building and building and building all right all you have to do is continue making the proper investments and not to be afraid of taking action here you, the only thing that you would be able to do this chariot a disservice for is if you were to pause because pausing the chariot is the biggest mistake that you could be making all right continuing forward under your hierophant and lovers you have the four of cups here spirit is definitely making the strong uh, indication that you you need to be careful about allowing certain connections to go by unnoticed all right that's why i feel like it is such a priority for you right now 
uh, pile number two to really put yourself out there. So not only do you get the opportunities that spirit is trying to give to you, but also that you are going to be receptive to the people that really resonates with you. If you notice, when I talked about this three of cups earlier, I mentioned pile number two about how I get this sense of having people that by you just using your voice, there's going to be people that love what it is that you speak, but all you have to do is speak, right? So there's definitely this, you attract really strong energy here by you using your voice. You have the six of cups coming in, clarifying the three of cups, as well as the queen of swords coming in. All right. So this is a sense of receiving receiving some type of gift that causes an insane celebration for you all right i feel like for you i wouldn't be surprised if there's someone that comes into your life in september that wants to invest in your dreams investing in your goals there's definitely this sense of receiving something that opens a lot of doors for you from someone that you wouldn't initially think would be able to help you or that you wouldn't initially consider approaching that's the person that's going to be helping you out the most here overall sep sep september to you guys you guys are definitely the main characters you're going to be getting spoiled for sure i wouldn't even be surprised if people in pile number two you feel called to more than one pile that's something that i get as well so let's see what it is that you guys need to be watching out for the moon card coming in here don't be spooked out by the moon don't be spooked out by the darkness don't be spooked out by the unknown here all right that's your biggest uh, anxiety here in September is not knowing what's going to be unfolding for you. You kind of have to just trust Gabriel, though, the angel of heralds. All right. Allow allow Gabriel to direct you. All right. Ace of Pentacles coming in here. All right. What I get for you guys is the more that you lean into this moon energy of where you travel into the unknown, you hit every treasure chest there. You're afraid about hitting the landmines, but you hit the treasure chests. And I feel like for many of you here, it's just this sense of like, more so this anxiety I feel of uh, magician energy, of you uh, trusting the process that you've created this. With this magician here, the magician is pointing upwards with the wand, having their passion, having what it is that they are feeling uh, passioned, passionate towards going forward with, uh, up above, right? From the beyond, right? Whatever you want to believe in from the spiritual realm. And then the magician is pointing downwards, represent pointing towards the earth, representing that you are quite literally in a way like a conduit for the spiritual realm of, uh, what it is that you're feeling passionate about it goes so much deeper than just surface level uh desires it's what it is the goals that you are accomplishing is through spirits uh request it's through what is the word that i'm trying to think of they're working through you to manifest something very beautiful that's going to have a big impact on more than just you you guys are building like a legacy here. As I said, darling, you guys are the ones that are the main character in September here. And so I feel like you guys need to already understand your impact. The fact that you, because I think I even said if I didn't, I meant to say that y'all are my trailblazers. Pile number two. You guys have such a, such a connection in September for the spiritual realm and what the spiritual that's why spirit is trusting you with this wisdom with this passion that uh you are going to be having because they trust you and being able to manifest that but you have to just be willing to ride out to the unknown for a little bit here you're being actively guided by the uh our angel gabriel all right so trust in that process i love you so much pal number two and hope i can connect with you at a later point in time bye darling Howdy, darling. You chose the angel of death. All right, Azrael, pile number three. So I already feel like I can respect you and trust you, darling, because you're not intimidated by the angel of death. Because actually what the angel of death, Azrael, brings is a sense of transformation for you. 
Those who feel drawn to pile number three are those that are desiring or craving radical change in some facet of their life here. Queen of Wands, I see you guys in September having a lot more freedom coming in here. The Queen of Wands is very fitting for you as well because you go through this death experience to release yourself of the bonds that have been keeping you down from being able to exude the Queen of Wands energy. The Queen of Wands is following with personal projects that she wants to personally do. All right, so for many of you in September, you're going to be having, if you've been stressing over financial matters, the financial matters has been what's been keeping you down. That's going to be taken care of so that you have the time to lean into your Queen of Wands pursuit here. For many of you guys, I feel like September is going to be a month of revenge. And I never usually talk about messages in this type of dynamic here, but I get this sense in September. It's like some of you guys are getting like your revenge body, revenge through just success, your own personal endeavors here. I get this sense of like proving somebody wrong. <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. September is going to be a month for you where the radical change that happens is definitely in regards to your finances. I definitely see this sense of like the home life having a little bit of complication. Very specific message, but some of you guys have been dealing with a lot of home improvement issues, or maybe you're having some type of update in your house. I feel like it's going to be going pretty smoothly here in September for you. But I also get this sense with this new sound, found sense of freedom that you're going to be getting in September that you need to make the most out of it, all right? That this isn't permanent. So this is definitely a month where you need to put pressure on yourself as that queen of wands to build, definitely build. You have the four of pentacles here with the queen of wands in September for many of you guys here. This newfound sense, this radical change that happens is that for maybe perhaps some of you, you have been haven't felt as if your business has been able to thrive or that you've been able to thrive at all due to certain restrictions, all right? I feel like those restriction, restrictions are going to be uh, lifted as long as you invest the new energy into something that you feel personally driven towards, not something that you think will be successful, but something that you feel personally driven towards, because that's the only way that you're going to be having this investment pay out in a Ten of Pentacles type of way here. When you have this Hermit energy complementing this, it's through your own personal insights. It's through leaning into what, leaning deeper into your own self, what fulfills you. All right, September is going to be a month that's going to be really a challenge for many of you. I feel that I'm not sure if everyone's going to make it or not. I'm not sure if everyone's going to make up, make through the challenge. Not to say that anything bad happens, but the radical change only happens with individuals that are really looking death straight in the face and then saying, I want something better. I see for those in September in pile number three, they're taking some type of change and then emperor energy here with this hermit card. I see you guys taking on September and making it your own. You guys are the ones that are making lemonades out of lemons, essentially here. I see in September a lot of newfound confidence. That's something that keeps on popping up in my head here. Newfound confidence. Some of you guys are going to be getting out of situations in your life that have had the sense of a grasp on you. Maybe for some of you guys, you'll be able to afford going part time at your job in this coming month here. For others of you, there is this definite message of where being released, having the restrictions be released from you, from maybe even social situations here. As this Emperor card, the, invest, the decisions you make, it's getting you back on track. Definitely here, for September for you guys is this, I really feel like I'm talking to my entrepreneurs. I feel like I'm talking to my individuals that are trying to uh, build something greater, right? These are the type of people where you're feeling dissatisfied with continuously putting more time and energy into a job that you know is not going to take you anywhere. And that's what I want to... Uh, focused in that message on is that you, what you do with this newfound sense of freedom with this energy that Re Azrael brings forth of the opportunity of having radical change for those that get back into their soul's purpose with that four of wands getting back using this time appropriately 
to build that dream life, the th to build that thing that you've wanted to have for your entire life, whatever it is that you feel post personally like that's like your identity. Those are the ones that are going to be re uh, rewarded with the radical change. If you're just leaving one office job just to pick up another office job because it pays a little bit more, that's not where the radical change is going to be happening. This is going to be happening to those that respond to their tower moments that already have been responding to stressful moments in a way where it's like they don't silence their voice. They use their voice even louder. I don't know why I keep on wanting to use like the word risk. Some of you are risk takers here and the risk pays off. You have the sun card, the best card in the tarot deck, queen of wands, as well as the four of pentacles here that this row is talking about. All right, you guys, this is like the story of who's the one that made Apple, Steve Jobs, right? Or who's the one that like made like the computers where it's off of the, in, like in someone's garage. That's like the type of risk that I see this as. You take a risk on a gamble on yourself for something that you feel personally passionate about, right? Maybe you want to open a restaurant, maybe like whatever the case is. September is a month for those that answered to a higher calling. And for those that for those that use this newfound sense of freedom that happens and lean into their purpose again, that's where the resistances are going to be lifted here. I heard like the word immunity. That's why I was trying to like understand this uh, sense for it's like, why am I being shown immunity? And I was getting all the impressions of like what immunity and um, being invulnerable represents. And I get this sense for you, pile number three of where it's just like, it's not going to be a sense of like having to gamble between being like, all right, do I eat this month or do I pay this bill? Right. I feel like for those that this risk, it would be generally seen as risky. I see the sense of immunity where it's just like, you know, as a fool's journey, when you jump, you, you don't hit the ground right before you hit the ground, you start flying. And that's what I feel like is going to be happening for you. Pile number three is that the month of September, depending on how you respond to chaos, depending on how you respond to closures of things, losing things, how you respond to that is going to be ultimately how successful you're going to be and what you leave September uh, with. All right. So definitely don't be afraid. You guys are not going to fall. You have strong people on your spiritual team trying to guide you here. I see the sense of seven of cups, four of, of wands here with the ten of pentacles. Many of you guys are not considering other options is what I feel or fear for you. It's like, for example, like you work that office job and then you start exploring situations that you feel normally comfortable with that, you know, would make you money. But then you've never tried to experiment with posting on social media or you're never experimented with um, putting your art on a bigger platform, whatever it is here. Those are the people that are going to get the biggest payoff or those that are that are open to considering any type of opportunity or possibility and leaning into it more. If you have extra time, you're just like, instead of using that extra time to continue grinding at the same things, you start working on that book that you've been wanting to write for a long time. It's not a case of having writer's block. It's just that you create a block around writing because you don't feel like your writing would ever be anything successful. But this Ten of Pentacles says otherwise, darling. This Ten of Pentacles says otherwise for you. And so for you guys in pile number three, that's the best way that I can put this is that you guys are craving radical change. Asriel, the angel of death, can bring that radical change in your life. But it's ultimately up to you and how you respond to things coming to a close. Because you've already been going through this. This is this is like an energy here where Asriel's like, all right, what can we make use of this energy for? All right. How for those that choose to take this extra time to take a risk of committing to writing that book, committing to whatever that is. That's where the success comes in. Radical change can only happen as long as you do your part. And as long as you do your part, your spiritual team is going to make sure that you don't ever fall. Now, the things to be looking out for, you have the five of wands coming in here. All right. Obstacles. I'm not going to sugarcoat this for you, darling. When it comes to September for you, I don't see things being super easy. 
All right. I do see people being challenging you. I do see certain obstacles that you're going to have to deal with. For some of you guys, the obstacle is learning how to not take life so seriously. Right. That's why you have the polka dots and the five of wands. There's many symbologies with the um, five of wands, the polka dots representing having fun. Polka, uh, the red is the passion. You know, there's a multitude of things of what this could be, but it's a matter of like how you respond to those obstacles of where you're going into September and you are feeling uh, not motivated or you're having to deal with drama. How you respond to those people and still rise above from that are those that are going to be successful. All right. Maybe some of you guys have been going through writer's block, imposter syndrome. Oh, this is what's happening here. Five of Pentacles the sense of insecurity the sense of not feeling like you are deserving the sense for me where you don't feel like you can handle it Ooh, y'all gotta get comfortable with finding your greatness because if you don't get comfortable with your greatness darling nothing's gonna change you have the knight of wands coming in as well just keeping the passion going that's really what this is is like for who has the willpower to accomplish these things a lot of people want to do a lot of different things, but it, what separates the boys and the girls from the men and the women are the ones that are able to commit to it, even when it doesn't seem initially promising. The biggest obstacle that you guys have is just the obstacle of feeling like you are deserving of it. <clears throat> feeling like you can handle the obstacles that are going to be thrown at you here and not, feel, not feeling demotivated. Confidence, really. All right, pile number three. So that's what I have for you, darling. If something resonated, that's lovely. Hopefully I can connect with you sometime in the near future. Bye, darling. You, darling, chose Sandalfon, the angel of new life, in pile number four. Sandalfon comes forward. Whenever they come forward in your life, that lets you know that Sandalfon is going to be bringing forth your next soul connection, whether this is a soulmate or a twin flame. And keep in mind, it's not always romantic. All right, could be your next uh, friend or what have you. Just know that when Sandalfon is showing up, darling, so is someone that's part of your soul tribe. For many of you as well, when it comes to September, you are going to be starting the stepping stones of your new life. Maybe you're starting to begin a new routine, workout routine, health regime. Some of you guys are starting to uh, begin like a new uh, business idea, a new project, getting it off the ground. I do feel like it's the beginning steps of it, though, because I keep on being shown steps. Seven of Swords coming in here for you, as well as the Eight of Swords here. In September, I see you guys overcoming your imposter syndrome i feel like for many of you guys when it comes to september you have until september you weren't able to uh do too much there's so many restrictions that you had to deal with so many other obligations other responsibilities other messes that you would have to clean up that you never really had time for yourself and i see for you queen of swords energy you making more time just for yourself here all right i see in september that you guys are putting up some strong boundaries all right, I see for you in pile number four, those who are starting to get into a more disciplined state with a routine daily, that's where the rewards are really going to be coming in. I feel like it's this time it's different. It's something I keep hearing, this time it's different. Someone has this type of mantra or some variation of that for me to continue. Yeah, this time is different. Some of you guys are repeating that. Some of you guys also need to tell yourself that because some of you guys are picking back up on something and you might not be able to have like a the greatest history with it, but this time it's different. That's what I keep hearing. Like this time it's different. Give something another chance. This time it's different. Get back up and scrape off your knees and get back on that horse. This time it's different. You have the sun card coming in. This is why it's different. All right. The sun card represents the sense of abundance. Clarity hat being had here. All right. When it comes to the sun energy here, this lets you know of whatever you guys are coming into September with, whatever intention Hopefully for those that watch this before September begins here, for those that set the intention before you get into this month, all right, you guys are going to be making major accomplishments in regards to that there because this time it's different. 
you have the two of swords a lot of sword energy here some of you guys might be coming out of a depression i'm noticing with all the sword mental health energy and then the sun card i do see many of you guys overcoming many mental problems of anxiety depression or something like in that manner eight of swords here with the two of swords a crossroads is going to be had presented in september for you a crossroads of continuing on in the way that you have been going some of you guys might be sitting have been getting a little bit too used to self-pity hierophant energy here on that seven of swords so here's the situation for you darling san Lofan is letting me know to you that they are putting people onto your path during september that are going to be very valuable assets to you for your emotional development wherever like varying developments here because i feel like for some of you guys these people can play more than just one active role in your life here but we need to get it through your head that these people are different this time it's different notice the same theme here unintentionally here all right this time it's different these new connections coming in here it's different this crossroads that are hap that's happening for you for you to uh, lean further into your passion or lean into um what you've been doing this time is different so when you deal with crossroads in your life this month don't be basing it off of the past things you have the empress card coming in here with the queen of swords make sure that you protect yourself during september all right i do get this sense here of people wanting to take advantage of you all right pile number four people are wanting to take advantage of you people are wanting to put their burdens onto you um pile number four and what i get here is that you need to put up some firm boundaries for yourself during this month when it comes to those people because we're actively teaching people how to treat us and so what i see happening is that at the beginning of this month here you're going to be tested by san lafon and you're going to be having to deal with some type of confrontation of some type of toxic energy and this person is going to exude some type of trait that you've had to deal with in the past multiple times right maybe you have a history of having to deal with narcissists a habit of cheaters a habit of um being always the third wheel with friendships where they break your trust with gossiping or what have you all right they're going to be bringing forth some type of confrontation with someone that exudes that type of trait and how you answer to that person is going to be letting san Lafon know whether or not you're ready for this next person coming into your life that's going to be part of your soul tribe not to say or give any implication that they exude any of these traits here but spirit has to know that you are ready for something better in your life and that you're not going to accept anything lesser than before they bring forth these new connections here so you're going to be tested here at the beginning of this month here in september you're going to be tested on your willpower you're going to be tested on your level of self-respect you're going to be tested on how badly you want something all right how badly do you want it you want it really bad show me once you show them hierophant energy commitment is had all right you're going to be having people in your life during this month that will show that commitment to you unapologetically that will make you help you see the value in yourself i see people making you blush and it's very specific but i do see people making you blush because it's like the sense of discomfort that you have with acknowledging your own beauty so people have to showcase like talk about your beauty or talk about your skill sets for you that's what I hear. Definitely getting out of your head though in September. That's why, because of the people, the experiences that you uh, deal with here help you. High Priestess energy here. Now the High Priestess is the divine counterpart to the Hierophant. So you're definitely going to be having a strong spiritual connection with somebody in the coming days here. I really honestly get twin flame energy with this because this is the epitome of twin flame energy where it's like you're very similar, but are very very opposite in specific ways all right so for many of those this is for when it comes to the twin flame aspect you already would have been coming into this reading with some type of suspicion of your twin flame i will say that all right now with this high priestess energy here i also want to be talking about this message of like being honest with yourself and not being afraid of being honest with yourself is what i get here some of you i i want to like I want to just like take your shoulders pile number four and like shake you a little bit here because it's like you 
I hear like a small voice and just this um, very specific, but I, I'm being shown Lilith right now. So I'm not to say that you need to work with Lilith, but when I see Lilith, there's this need for you to speak up more, speaking your truth more, being more dominant. All right. There's people that want to quite literally serve you, but not in like a weird way. There's people that are going to come into your life that want to connect with you that just want that just want you right in the most human to human way not anything not wanting you for what it is you provide not wanting to use you any of that but you have to be more reachable three of wands you have to be ready to have that type of new connection three of wands hierophant with the seven of swords here your path is already, like, that's the thing. In September for you guys, you need to get clear on your intent of what it is that you want to do and start going into September, taking affirmative action towards that there. Addressing with that Seven of Swords, what has been stopping you from your goals? Have you just not been consistent? Is consistency your issue? Is energy your issue? Focusing your issue? What is your, what are What are these Seven Swords? All right, make it a priority to clear up those seven swords as soon as possible because that is the blockage that I see from allowing this new energy that Sandalfon is trying to bring to you in your life. All right, you have the six of wands. This is my fame and fortune card. This is the public recognition card. This is being surrounded by people of your peer. All right, for one, you guys are definitely going to be meeting people that are in your communities of the communities that you personally reside into. Whether you're a spiritual, um, you associate with spiritual communities or driving NASCAR or singing, what have you. That's where those are where the pe your people are right now. All right. And you're going to I see you in September celebrating with them. I see for you in September just this sense of vibrancy i don't know why i'm being shown like all all these colors but then the vibrancy is being turned up <clears throat> some of you guys need to start paying attention to what you are feeling intuitively called to doing you might be confusing your intuition with uh your own just like personal desires here but you need to get out of your head here six of swords energy here there's this sense of where you need to disconnect from how you are perceiving the world like uh, it's like you're, I'm being shown a chessboard. So it's like you're being, it's like you are undervaluing yourself as the queen, or you don't understand like all the potential that the queen has on a chess match, right? And the queen, the person that uses the queen confidently and fully knows how to use is the queen. The queen is the one that dictates how the game goes here. And I feel like that's what's happening. Very specific, weird analogy. But it's like I keep on being shown chess, the queen's gambit. It's the sense of like you you need to like wake up, wake up to being the queen. So that way you're able to fully make use of it here. Five of wands coming in here with the seven of wands as well. I do want you to be careful, pal number four. I do want you to be careful here. Because it's like, while you also, like, while we, on the subject of being a queen here, Page of Cups energy, I want you to put more of a focus in on new energy. Because I feel like there's a lot of people in your current environment that don't want to respect you as that queen and acknowledge everything that you're able to accomplish as that queen. And I feel like there is this sense of where you need to just put a pure focus in on new connections that Sandalfon is trying to bring to you. And so that's what the obstacle is, is where it's like, Again, that's where the challenge, I, yeah, I did talk about it. It's like you are going to be challenged in, at the beginning of the t same type of people, all right? You have to make the choice in being that queen of swords and breaking that cycle. And those that break that cycle, that's when the new co energy comes in. The story writes itself, darling. So that's what I have for you. This time it's different. <laughs> this time is different. So hopefully this resonated with you, pal number four, and I'll connect with you at a later point in time. Bye, darling.